in the drug discovery industry, we see biofarm want to accelerate drug discovery. Our purpose is to develop a bioregion to help biofarm accelerate the drug discovery process. As a scientist, we emphasize humility and curiosity. Also, we emphasize innovation and try to be creative. And also, we always try to learn and also try to follow the biotech and the pharmaceutical trends. First and foremost, I think we listen to our customers and we work with our customers very closely. Not only do our salespeople talk to our customers routinely, but our scientists as well, including myself and other directors. We've seen recently with immunotherapy, one, there's a lot of progress. Two, we've seen a lot of this is becoming more customized medicine as well as combo therapies. So here at BPS, what we're trying to do is provide all those tools so scientists could really figure out what's the best strategy um, going forward. We offer different types of products whether it's proteins or cell lines, or lentiviruses, acicates. These can all be used in a variety of research areas that include drug discovery and development, basic research and research in immunotherapy, cell signaling, neuroscience. Our very hot products right now are CAR-T products, immunotherapy, checkpoint inhibitors, and so forth. Everything involved in the immuno-oncology space. After we sell the product, our team is not just waiting for the customer's demand or complaints on our product. We actually actively ask how we can improve our product and how we can contribute on their success. One big aspect of BPS is the fact that we're very nimble. We know what is happening in science, so we can react very fast in an innovative way without sacrificing quality. When COVID outbreak happened a couple of years ago, the virus itself is brand new and then there are not many research tools to investigate it, but BPS scientists stepped up and try to develop a lot of basic research tools, for example, proteins, and I say kits, and cell lines, and pseudoviruses. As testament to our commitment to researchers, we have been cited in over 2,300 publications, and we continue to provide new and innovative products for our customers. It's tough to estimate or predict where this industry goes in the next five years or 10 years, but more and more artificial intelligence involved in drug discovery area as well. We can work with the AI-based company to discover small molecule drugs. We also develop the many immunotherapy cell lines. We can help biopharma screen antibody for uh, immuno checkpoint inhibitor. And uh, we also develop many CAR-T cell lines so we can help uh, cell therapy company to develop new CAR-T constructs. And uh, for BPS, I think we are well positioned to meet biopharma trends.